Okay, I am David Squeezanaki here for Cruising with the Case Handler. And of course, we are going to be here for a while. I just decided to get a jump start on things today, you know, right? Up here, broadcasting from my apartment, gearing up for the attorneys to get on. Now you may ask, what is Cruising with a Case Handler? Cruising with a Case Handler happens to be a show on personal injury, a show on immigration law. It's where you can get all of your questions answered by some of the top attorneys in this nation. I created this show back in 1996. Back then it was called the Immigration Link and for all intents and purposes, pretty much one and the same. Um, a lot of you may know me as Squeeze. This is where I squeeze information out of the attorneys. They're coming up straight ahead. Um, some of the greatest attorneys genu um, genuinely that I've met. Adam Handler, I've known him for 15 years strong. A man who is one of the humblest, most modest individual I have ever known. Sometimes I try to tell him to turn it up a little. But he's humble. He's a third generation attorney um, where personal injury and more is concerned. He has been helping people for a while and he takes pride in his work. Um, if there's an attorney that has always been very true and dear um, to me in, in helping me in several capacities, when I have issues where I need an attorney, he's definitely that individual. So I implore you all to reach out to him. He works um, in the New York area. Um, he's a partner at the firm Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. They've been around for just about 60 years. The firm was originally um, initiated by Conrad Pollock, the managing partner there, um, father. And they've really grown tremendously. And coming from the Caribbean community and you know, being here in the United States, oh man, ever since I was a kid, I've always realized that there has been a void when it comes to attorneys and understanding um, where um, we need attorneys within our community. And that firm, Paula Pollock, Isaac and Nisiko, being built on immigration has definitely changed the terrain, the terrain for a lot of people, not just the Caribbean community. But for us to understand more that attorneys come in different, different ways, meaning that you, we, we need them for immigration, we need them for personal injury, we need them for criminal defense, we need them for family law. And it's not just, hey, I need an attorney, just pick anybody who's an attorney. That is not the situation. It is completely different, all right? So it's great to have that firm that has been compartmentalized where they have different departments dealing with different areas. For example, you'll never find the Adam Handler, you know, meddling with immigration, all right? Even if he takes on a case um, where you get hurt in an accident and you are out of status, guess what? He's going to actually handle the personal injury side of it. And he's going to have his partners, okay, who is in the immigration department, handle the immigration side. And trust me, lo and behold, if you get hurt in that accident and you're out of status, you're okay with Adam Handler, the case handler. You're okay with PPID, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and the sequel. You're okay with this law firm. So, ladies and gentlemen, just reach out to them. You can look them up, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and the sequel. Just type in PPID in your Google search, New York, and it will pop up. Type in case handler in your search and it will pop up, all right? and they will definitely take good care of you. Once again, we all need excellent attorneys. You know, um, one of the things I love about PPID is that they've decided to give everyone free immigration consultation. Yeah, 100% free immigration consultation. So you don't have to worry about, uh, about your, you know, immigration situation. Just, uh, just, you know, call them up and get that free consultation and then if you like him, then you hire them. All right, if you like him, then you hire them. You know, it's like you, you go to the car dealership, you don't wanna buy the car until you test drive it. The attorneys at PPID, that's how they are. Although, I mean, they get a lot of referrals in the immigration area, personal injury area. You can actually call them up at 844-774-3529, okay? And after you call them up, ask them all the questions that you wanna ask, everything. Ask them all the questions over the phone, and then you make the decision whether or not you think they're an excellent firm to go with. I believe that they are. So as someone who has come up through the ranks, myself here in business, as a broadcaster on radio, as an individual inside of the community in various levels, I completely 100% endorse this law firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, Nisuko. 
I can endorse them, all right? They're on my radio program. And that's the reason why they're here, to help out the community. Now, what I need from everybody out there before we get things going with the attorneys, I need for you to actually, um, I need for you guys to, who are on Facebook here, to do me a favor and start sharing. Start sharing what it is that you're watching. So if you are, if you're watching this right now and you have friends who are on Facebook, do me a favor. Share what it is that you're watching on your timeline, share it in groups, uh, share it on pages. Um, if you're a part of WhatsApp groups like the one that we have, okay, share it in there, all right? And don't forget to actually place your questions in those groups also, all right? Bring your immigration questions, place them on the, on the page that you're watching. If you know of someone out there that need to ask an immigration question of one of the attorneys that I have here, all right, do so. Just Type it in and we'll get to those immigration questions. If you know of someone who was recently in an accident and is trying to understand more about what they should do, place your questions here or absolutely free. Just dial 844-774-3529. So wake up. Yes, I can get that energetic. Wake up and let's get going. For me, this is like the start of the week. People always think Monday is the start of the week. Nah, Monday is never the start of the week, you know. No, money has never been the start of the week for me. Uh, the, the, start of, the start of the week, the start of the week for me has always been like Tuesday. You know, Tuesday is when I really, 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 really get going. I get pumped. I get energetic. You know, I'm like on fire. I mean, if you check my story on Instagram this morning, you'll see what I'm talking about. Getting everybody pumped, getting everybody fired up. That's what it's all about. And this Tuesday, that's what I'm doing again. So I want every single one of you out there, wake up, up. Okay, and let's get going. We got work to do. We got a life to live and we got a lot of sharing to do. So that's the reason why I'm saying you're watching me on Facebook. Do me a solid, please, and share in all the groups. As a matter of fact, share with every single person that you know. Message someone the link right now and say, yo, that big mouth guy squeeze, you know, that big mouth guy squeeze is on Facebook. He's talking about law with his, with his attorney friends. He's talking about this and that. We should check it out. Maybe somebody needs it. Share. That's what life is all about. Why were you put on this planet? What's your purpose? Believe me, it's not just you. It's about others. That's the reason why you were put on this planet. So that's the reason why I'm always so pumped. So with that said, I need for you to share, 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 share. All right, let's get our numbers up today. All right, I'll be sharing. Adam Adler will be sharing. The firm PPID will be sharing. Everyone tuning in to 93.5 FM will be sharing. Let's share. What is the show about? Personal injury. We'll also talk immigration, and you'll find out how right now. Adam Adler, how you doing, man? Good morning, man. Good morning. You got the energy today. How many Red Bulls you had today? Uh, what? That's it? All right. You ride, you ride the bike yet this morning? Yes, I did. Can't you All see, right. man? I'm fresh. I'm up. Did you check my stories? I haven't checked anything. I'm checking work emails. That's uh, a little bit more important this morning. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit more important. Did my bull and my BioLife green juice, man. Excellent. Got my BioLife plus Supreme in it, you know, so I got all my vitamins and minerals in it. So I am really super pumped this morning. I was, I was talking about you, man. As they say, when someone is talking about your ears should have been ringing, but I guess maybe your ears weren't ringing. But I was no, my, my nose was twitching. My nose was twitching. It, okay. Well, I was talking about you and Lent, you know, how you came up through the ranks, you being a third generation attorney, you helping out the community, you being so modest. Sometimes I got to light some fire in you. I said, stop being so modest, man. Sometimes you got to, you know, shake that. But it's just what's in you. So it's good to have you. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, his name is Adam Handler. He's an attorney. And as I noted earlier, a partner in the firm, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. He's the $126 million man that I mentioned on my story this morning on IG. He's the man who, if you ever get hurt in an accident, you do not need another attorney. It's only him. I can only vouch for him because, yeah, I don't care what you all say. I love money. And especially if I get hurt, because guess what? I don't want to get hurt. And then some attorney tell me like, hey, listen, uh, David, um, we were only able to get this. But although they have access to this. No, 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 no. Adam Handler will not leave a dime, a penny on the table. And that's what you need if you get hurt in an accident. So, Adam, what's popping, man? Talk to me, man. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me on this morning and every day. You know, we start this at 9.30 FM, uh, 9.30 FM, 
9.30 a.m. <laughs> on 93.5 FM. I, I guess I was late to my own party this morning, but I wasn't really late. You were early, and I like that, fashionably early. Um, for those listening to you on 93.5 FM, thank you so much. You know, Squeeze and I so, so very much appreciate it. There are so many other things that you could be listening to right now, and the fact that you're here with us means the world to us, and we're hoping, we're really hoping, but we are confident that we are giving you quality information, right? You are not wasting your time listening to us. In fact, you're bettering your chances of becoming a victim twice if, God forbid, you're in an accident, right? As long as you have my number saved, and we'll get to that in a second, you will be protected. If you're in an accident, you will be protected. If you need to adjust your status here in the United States, you will be protected. If you're facing deportation, you will be protected. If you want to apply for citizenship, it's with our great pleasure that we will assist you to do that, to become part of the greatest society on the face of this planet. We are happy, willing, and able to do it. If you've got a legal question, we've got a legal answer. If you've got a legal problem, we've got a legal solution. But all you got to do, I always, the point thing, you, all you got to do is save this number I'm pointing to right there. And that's 844 844- Seven seven four three five two nine eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. And if you're watching us right now on Facebook, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, there could be other things that you could be watching right now, other things you could be scrolling through, flipping through, but you're here with us and we appreciate it. And we're here to try to give you quality legal information. Um, to protect yourself and protect your family. If God forbid you're ever in that situation. I say it all the time, Squeeze. I give out the number. You give out the number. We advertise the number. I hope you don't have to call that number. I really do. Because if you're calling our number, 844-774-3529, or easy to remember, 844-PPID-LAW, it means you got it, You got an issue. It, it means something has gone either terribly wrong, or you got a legal problem that you need to, to be addressed. Now, we're happy if you call us and say, hey, listen, I'm buying a new home, I need an attorney. Or I'm selling my home, I need an attorney. And we'll knock it out of the park for you. Or if, for example, you know, you do wanna become a citizen, you, you do wanna be able to vote uh, in the coming elections uh, in the future and, and, and solidify your place and your family's place in the United States of America, we're happy to have you do it. But many times people are calling me because they've been in a terrible accident, whether it's a car accident, a workplace accident, which we'll get to in depth today, uh, a construction accident, a slipper trip and fall, maybe you're even the victim of medical malpractice. Uh, that number 844-774-3529 will be the only number you need to get full compensation for your injuries, full compensation for the wrongs that have been done to you and your family by somebody that was negligent. This is cruising with the case handler. I am the case handler. My name is Adam Handler. I'm a third generation personal injury attorney. And you now are officially cruising with the case handler. It's a show every day consistently on this radio station, giving back to those who have given so much to myself and my firm over my 17 year career. I've obtained, as you said, over $125 million from my clients. And it's not by surprise, it's not by accident, it's because I work really hard and I try to do it the right way. And I do do it the right way. We have a wonderful team here. My, uh, my head paralegal, Sandra, she's been with me for over almost a decade now. It's her birthday, so happy birthday, Sandra. We Happy birthday, you. Sandra. We, we love you. And uh, we're ready to fire this up. Uh, I want to focus a little bit about uh, workplace accidents today. But if you have any questions, please, we can get to them. We can do a true life a success story. But if you're listening on 93.5 FM right now, and I already said thank you, but I'll thank you again. Can you please go on Instagram? Can you please go on Facebook and check out The Case Handler? because you'll be connected to my practice. You'll see what we're talking about. Don't take my word for it. Don't take Squeeze's word for it. Take the words of thousands of people that have come before you 
that have hired me as their attorney. They had thousands and thousands of choices to, of lawyers, but they chose your boy, the case handler. And why do you think that is, Squeeze? Why do you think they could have either went on through the telephone book? No, nobody even uses that anymore. It's a bad example. But they could have Googled New York personal injury lawyer and gotten you know, 10,000 results. Why do you think they chose to go with the case handler? Now, well, this is my opinion, all right? And I said it earlier, okay? People know who you are and people know what it is that you have actually done in the past. And you have experience, you have depth. That's the reason why I would go with you. And I'm quite sure because of your experience and your success and every, just about most, if not all broadcasters on this station, 93.5 can attest to that because they have recommended people to you and people who have actually still used do. It. Okay, there you go. So that is what, you know, we need to talk about. You are truly genuinely the man. I'm, I, yeah, and yeah, people might say, but Squeeze is stroking Adam Handler. No, to be honest with you, this isn't an advertisement, but we take it one step further. We genuinely know that he works. It really genuinely works. And coming from an immigrant community, and I keep saying that, I know we are misinformed we are dissuaded to go to the right person that can help us for whatever misled. reason. You're misled. Yeah, you're misled. And then you end up getting, and I'm putting it bluntly, screwed. And then you're asking me to ask Adam, or you're asking Adam, can I go back and redo this? Can you take my case after someone else have had it? You know, and then here comes the complexities and the intricacies, because you did not do the right thing first. Listen, you have heard him on this station, 15 years strong. You have seen the results. As a matter of fact, today is Tuesday. What does that mean, Adam? It means it's Testimonial Tuesday. I need Nelson to introduce it, but whatever. I'll introduce myself. Testimonial Tuesday. Every right. Tuesday on social media, we post a true life success story. Again, 93.5 FM listeners, check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Go to the case and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. Right. And, and right now, what I would love for you all to do is to go to Adam Handler's page. Because if you go to his page and you subscribe, you will get updates when he goes live. You will get updates when he posts these true success stories, which happens to be cases that he has handled and have settled for thousands of people. It's very important. My page, yeah, I got tons of people following me. But I need for everybody... Go on his page, the case handler. Just go into Facebook, type on the case handler, and you know, subscribe and like and follow his page. Very, very important that you do that. All right. You will need his services at some point in time. He says he prays that you won't, but you will need it, even if it's not for you. Could be a family member or a friend. And as I always say, even a foe, because we believe in sharing, because that's what life is all about. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, reach out to him. His number. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. That's the number for Adam Handler. And if you think I'm lying, call his number and say, hi, say good morning. Say, hey, thanks a lot for looking out, not just for the Caribbean communities, but all communities. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. Three, five, two, nine. Your attorney, my attorney, because you've got one chance, one choice, and he is your case handler, Adam Handler. And uh, Adam, let's jump right into it, man. True success stories, plural. Let's jump right into it. I know you've got it. I've shared my screen. People on 93.5 FM turning up their radios. Thank you all so much earlier for getting your bio life. Now it's time to get some, you know, personal injury talk. Time to get some true success stories. My people out there who have used Adam Handler, please spread the word, turn it up. He's the top attorney on the station. If you ever get hurt, construction accident, workplace accidents. We're going to be touching on that today. So Adam, it's all yours, it's all yours man. Look at that, $2.5 million, $2 million settlement. I'm looking here on Facebook. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, go to my page, David Squeeze Anarchy, or the Case Handler page, 1.875, 1.8 mil. Man, this is what I'm talking about, 1.7 mil, all right? 1.697 mil, 1.5 mil. These are all settlements by Adam Handler. 1.75 mil, 1.075 mil, 125 million truly recovered by Adam Handler. And look at that large settlement. 
construction settlement, 5.2, another one, 5 million, a passenger. Man, this is crazy. Hmm. I could go on and on and on and talk about all this money. This um, let's, uh, let, let's go through a, a recent case. This is actually a recycle in full disclosure. Uh, hmm. This is a recycle testimonial Tuesday. Um, and the reason why we're recycling it is because I think it's a really nice picture of Sandra and myself and in celebration of her birthday. Yeah, it's her birthday, show, right. I wanted to show a picture of the two of us. Uh, this is from a couple of years ago. Uh, Desroy, great dude, great dude. Uh, settled this case, $95,000. Uh, what stands out to me with this case um, is that during the deposition, um, we had a very interesting conversation with the other driver. Um, the other driver uh, told the police, oh, let, let, you know what, let's start with that quote and then we'll get to- uh, Yeah, let's jump to the quote first, all right? Well, you got to ask me one thing before I read this, man. I can't go on with the show. Squeeze, would you please read this quote for me? <laughs> From start to finish, everything was excellent. Anything better than the case handler team must be better than heaven. Mm, wow. Big thank you to Adam Handler and his team. Best lawyers I know. Desroy G. from Jamaica. $95,000 settlement. Yeah. Unbelievable. And this is a guy that was making pretty much minimum wage at Golden Crust. Uh, all of a sudden came into $95,000 tax-free. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, what stands out about this story, uh, Squeeze, is that uh, Desiree was driving down the street uh, in Queens and the other vehicle uh, involved in this accident had a stop sign and blew through the stop sign. Uh, Desiree did not have a stop sign, obviously had the right of way pursuant to the rules of the road. And uh, upon the police arriving, and this is why it's so important you know, to, to really make sure that the cops come to the scene, really make sure if you can take some photographs, if possible, of the damage to the car and the position of the car, it makes a world of difference. Um, Desiree gave his story that he's driving straight, all of a sudden the car uh, blew the stop sign and hit him. The other car tells the police that he was speeding down the street. She stopped at the stop sign, thought it was safe to go and started speeding down the street and, and, and caused the collision. Well, listen, first of all, you have an obligation if you have a stop sign to wait until it's clear to go speeding or not speeding, but it was a baloney story. Right. But the cops still had to write it down in the report because that was her statement. We go to depositions on the case depositions. And I was actually talking about this on my Instagram live the other day. Deposition um, is essentially an interview. When you file a lawsuit, uh, the parties get to interview each other, but it's under oath. So before the deposition occurs, you raise your right hand, you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And that's exactly what you should do. It's no different than you were if you were sitting on the witness stand in court. And uh, Desiree testified, uh, he, he let everybody know how the accident happened and what his injuries were. And now it was my turn to depose the driver of the other vehicle. And we sit down and I say, good morning, uh, good, it was actually the afternoon at that point. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am, my name is Adam Handler. Um, and she goes, oh, I know who you are. You're the case handler. I listened to you on 93.5 FM. I go, now all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. I am supposed to be like nailing this person right now, right? Like in the movies, cutting them up, making sure that their testimony isn't BS, you know, really being that shark that you always call me. And now all of a sudden I have a fan on the other hand. <laughs> so what do I do? Well, Clients always come first. Just like family always comes first, clients always come first. I say, yes, I am the case handler and I'm apologizing in advance for what's about to happen over the next 30 minutes. Well, her response was, well, I'm here to tell the truth, Mr. Handler. I said, that's a very good thing. And we get into it. And I said, was my client speeding? No, he wasn't speeding. He wasn't speeding. I just didn't see him and I pulled out. So the fact that she knew who I was, she yep. knew who I was, changed her entire story. She <laughs> wanted nothing to do with me. And she told the truth and the case settled for 95, that day, no, not that day, next, the next week for $95,000 out of a hundred. We mm -hmm. didn't want, Desiree didn't want to wait another year for trial for five grand. I don't blame him. But that case settled days after that deposition because you know what she did? She must have called her insurance company who was offering like 30 or 40 grand before this deposition and said, 
you got to get me out of this mess. You got to pay these guys right now. I do not want to go to trial against the case handler. That's happened three times in my career. That was the first time it happened. And I actually have that transcript saved. Maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll post it uh, to social media because that was that was amazing. I introduced myself and she goes, oh, I know who you are. <laughs> that's one of the best stories I've heard in a yeah, while. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a very yeah. good one, man. Yeah. He's like, oh, shoot. I'm up against the case I let. Nope. Yeah. Oh, that's it. I'm I, give up. I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> it's so stupid. I, I, you know, people are, are, I can't tell you how many, uh, I've done hundreds of these depositions and you know, a lot of times they'll tell the truth because how do you how do you deny that you hit somebody in the rear or, or how do you deny that the, the, the sidewalk is completely broken? We have photographic evidence, but there's a lot of times where people say my, my client's speeding or my client's headlights weren't on. And you know what? It's, it's not their money. It's the insurance. Why? Why perjure yourself? Why put yourself out there to potentially have some kind of criminal sanction because you're right. lying under oath? Listen. You know, m many people don't take that seriously, but when you're swearing to God or affirming that you are telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth, and you're not telling the truth, that shows a very big character flaw. Just come clean. I tell my children all the time, I'd be much more upset knowing you lied than if the truth was bad, right? right. We can yeah. deal with it, but you gotta be honest. And that's something I require of my clients as well. And I've had situations where I've called clients and I said, I can't represent you anymore because something they have done or said was inconsistent with the way I practice. And listen, I got many, got many files. So, you know, a few of them lost along the way because I wasn't comfortable getting involved in what we call my family, Mishigas. It's a Yiddish word for kind of like uh, hibbity dibbity, you know, you don't want to get involved in it. I, I fly straight. And that's why I'm not rolling up to you at the scene of the accident or in the emergency room or the tow truck operator. If my clients want me to be their attorney, they're calling 844-774-3529, 844-774-3529. Even if you can't remember that number, you, you Google the case handler. We get, I get every month, I get a Google, um, a Google result email, uh, the Gmail and Google, they send you every month kind of like your statistics, how many people Googled you, how many people called you, how many people asked for directions. And hundreds and hundreds of people every month are Googling the case handler. So even if you can't remember that phone number, if God forbid you're ever in a situation, the only, only people that you should be uh, trusting with your case would be the case handler team at Paul, Paul Gazi Casito. There you go. Adam Handler, ladies and gentlemen, he's not getting off that easy. I need one more true success story from him. But remember, the number is very important. So I want everyone to demonstrate that you are actually saving his number. You're tuning on the radio, tuning in on the radio right now at 93.5. Dial this number, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. True story. My family has used the case handler in the past. My friends have used the case handler in the past. My friends and family are still using the case handler in the present. So make sure you call him. 844-774-3529. And that word family is an operative word in his capacity because he does treat you like family. Call him now. Every one of us need an excellent personal injury attorney. God forbid. 844-774-3529. When you started the show, you said you were going to be speaking about a certain area of personal injury. Work, work, workplace accidents. And yeah. workplace accidents can be everything from a... Uh, home health attendant pulling their back out if they have to lift a patient, right? Mm -hmm. um, it could be uh, a construction worker either falling off a ladder or falling off scaffolding or getting injured because one of his or her tools have failed, right? They're on the job. It could even be a car accident. And we actually signed up a case yesterday um, regarding uh, concerning a car accident that was also a work accident. What was this case about? I don't want to get into too many details because it is an ongoing case. Right. But very, very generally, this woman uh, worked for a hospital. They were transporting a patient. She was in the back of an ambulette and another vehicle ran a stop sign, slammed into the ambulette, 
The ambulance then careened off the side of the road and hit two parked cars. She's in the back of this ambulance, buckled with the patient. And all of a sudden, things in the back of the ambulance start crashing down on her, slices open her entire forehead regarding, regarding uh, requiring plastic surgery. I mean, I saw this woman yesterday, you know, hopefully that, that will heal to some degree, but squeeze, especially on a beautiful woman. That is bad news. That is bad news. Now, because she was working at the time, right? She was transporting a patient. She has, number one, a worker's compensation case. What does that mean? It means that her job has insurance that will provide for her medical bills to be covered and her time out of work to be covered. As long as she's unable to work, she will be paid. As long as she has medical bills that are related to this accident and these injuries, they will be covered. But it doesn't stop there because she was not working, uh, I'm sorry, but she was not in an ambulance owned or driven by a coworker. She also has a personal injury case. Who can we go after? We can certainly go after the car that ran the stop sign. We can go after the ambulance because we don't know yet, um, did this ambulance pay attention? Should they have seen the other vehicle running the stop sign? Did they take the appropriate evasive maneuvers? Did they secure properly all that equipment in the back that came on top of her and sliced up her face? We don't know yet, but that's what I'm talking about. You got to take a global approach. You got to look at everything to make sure that she gets maximum compensation for injuries because these are very, very serious injuries. So mm -hmm. even though it's a, it's a, a dr even though it's a motor vehicle accident, still a workplace workers' compensation accident. Now, the kicker is, say that was the hospital's ambulance and the driver of the ambulance was another hospital worker, her coworker. She could not go after the ambulance. In New York, you cannot sue your job. Your only remedy if you're hurt on the job in New York is workers' compensation. People say this to me all the time. Well, I don't want to sue my job. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to, you know... You can't, you cannot sue your job. You can't sue your job. You can't sue your coworkers. The only remedy you have is workers' compensation. But if there's somebody else to go after, we go after them. Construction. But explain the construction and explain the construction accidents. Well, construction accidents, very similar. You know, if you're hurt on the job, you cannot sue your employer. You cannot, if you work for a plumbing company or an electrician or a, a demo company and you're hurt on the job, you cannot sue your employer. Your but only you remedy is workers' compensation. Well, you can sue the contract. I mean, they are- uh, Correct. Right. Correct. So the laws of New York provide that if you're hurt on a construction site and your accident qualifies for special laws, which essentially very, very briefly state that if something falls on you or you fall off something, any kind of gravity related accident or any kind of dangerous work condition, you can't sue your job, but you can sue the owner of the property and the general contractor on the job. Now, a lot of times people work directly for the general contractor. Right. So what do you do? You sue the owner. There should always be somebody available to go after if you suffered catastrophic injuries on a construction site. And guess what? The law is on your side. It's almost strict liability. What does that mean? It means you're almost guaranteed to prove that they are liable as a matter of law. The laws are very, very, very strict and heavily weighted in favor of the worker. In fact, New York is one of the only states in this country that provides for this remedy. So for example, if you fall off a 30 foot ladder, well, there's no such thing as a 30 foot ladder, but let's say you fall off scaffolding 30 feet high in Newark, New Jersey, you probably don't have a case other than workers' compensation because those special labor law, those special construction accident laws do not exist. So New York is a very special place with respect to workers. There's a lot of building going on, a lot of construction, a lot of demolition. They try to protect the workers and for good reason, because if you get hurt on a construction site, it's most likely going to be your family calling me, seeking my services, because you are, as, uh, as your brethren say, real mashed up at the time. You know? You're mashed up. Mashed up. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen once again you just heard the voice of adam handler and um i've always wondered adam you know how how come the, the construction accidents are always 
the settlements are usually, from what I've seen, so high. And, you know, I've always wondered, so how come they have such large settlements and they can't sue their employer? But now you've actually explained yeah. why that is. Well, my largest settlement actually was a construction accident last year, 5.2 million. And the numbers are high because number one, the injuries are usually catastrophic. Obviously, people that have catastrophic injuries are getting more than people that have a whiplash injury. And mm -hmm. they require more medical attention, more medical bills, okay? Mm -hmm. And construction workers, it, it's a lucrative field. You know, you have those laborers making minimum wage, but you also have iron workers, uh, carpenters that are in the union that are making very, very, very good money. And usually if you're hurt on one of these construction sites and suffer these injuries, you may never work again. So if you're work making, let's say $100,000 a year and you're 45 years old, you could be entitled to 20 plus years of $100,000 of salary. You know, you're over 2 million right there. Right, and that's very true. And that's once, again, the reason why I say to each and every one out there, make sure you choose an excellent attorney. You know, Adam is not allowed, okay, to say he is the best, but he has demonstrated in my opinion that he is that, all right? So right now I say to everybody tuning in, dial this number, store the number. You can see that he's signing up cases with people who really reach out to him because they know what he's capable of. Call him now, the number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Call the case handler now, ladies and gentlemen. Don't wait until you know that desired moment and you're like, oh, what's the man that Squeeze was talking to again? What's his name, the case handler? Well, what's his number? Store it now. Do you know people are out there saying, Adam, I'm not going to get hurt, so I'm, I'm not even taking the number. Nobody expects to get hurt. Nobody I mean, does. That's why they're accidents. It happens when you least expect it, whether it's 12 at night or, or 12 in the afternoon. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Absolutely not. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, here's what I need for you to do. One, if you're on Facebook, follow his page, obviously, subscribe to the page, all right, so you can know when we go live with the case handler, all right? Two, if you're on 93.5 FM, Make sure that you subscribe to Facebook and join and uh, subscribe to Adam Handler's page, the case handler, my page, obviously, David Squeeze Anarchy, my name, just put it in. And also right now, I need for you, everyone, take 10 seconds out and store this number. How do we know you're storing the number? You will dial it, you let it ring on Adam's desk phone. He's got a desk phone, he's still got one of those things. All right? All lawyers All right. Desk phone. <laughs> you know, still got one of those things. My kids are like, dad, what's that? What is that thing with buttons on it, you know? So dial now, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Every single person out there need to have this number. It's the number of an excellent attorney. Ladies and gentlemen, the case handler, 844-774-3529. You can also do us another solid. Text this number to everyone who's truly your friend. Text this number to everyone that's out there moving about now, you know, okay, seeing that things are getting back to somewhat of a normalcy. The number is 844-774-3529. Thank you so much. Until next time. It's 10 o'clock. There you have it. On point, Mr. Handler. Great show. Great, um, great show. No controversy, you know. <laughs> good, good vibes, positive vibes. That's all it has been, all right? No, so thanks to each and every one tuning in. I am David Squeeze-Anneke, and the man on the other side is Adam Handler, your case handler. We must say that prior to us not guarantee similar outcome. And yes, as noted earlier, it's an attorney advertisement, but I truly want every one of you to have an excellent attorney in your corner. And that is my friend, Adam Handler. Make sure you reach out to him today, 844-774. Three, five, two, nine. Until next time, we'll talk.